Hello, this is Sixi from www.anavara.net and I'd like to welcome you all to one of our first video tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a very cool and fun trick you can use to add snow and ice to your images. You can even turn an ordinary cityscape to a disastrous ice age. So, let's get started. This is the final outcome. As you can see, it looks alright. I just spent about five minutes on it, so and yeah, the outcome is pretty good. So we'll just close that, open up an image, a photo. Now this is a photo I took. So I'll just, as you can see, it's it's got some pretty nice elements that you can play with. For example, you can play with the cars. You can play with the trees, you can play with the buildings, you can add ice to all sorts of things. So let's just open up and the first thing we gotta do is we have to insert a white layer under this background. So what we need to do is just duplicate the background. So select the background layer and press Ctrl J to duplicate and We'll just click on the background again, and this time we'll go shift backspace, and we'll fill that in with white, and there we have it, a white layer, and the photo you want to add ice on on top of it. So we'll need to go on to the blending options of the photo, so we'll just double click on that, and this is the basis for the trick. So what you need to do is adjust the blend if gray option here layer style you go blend if gray and and what you need to do is tweak this triangle so if you tweak this tri whole triangle like move it to the right the left triangle if you move it to the right it's going to create like a not very realistic it's flat white effect on your photo so that's not what we want to do what we want to do is just get the right side of the triangle so we'll just hold alt and click on the right side of the triangle and drag to the right and there we have it a cool ice effect the foundations of it anyway just make sure that you don't go too overboard if you, see, if you go over here you'll see the shadows are covered in ice as well so that's not what we want to do we want to keep it around here so that you see a little ice on the shadows but not too much so we'll click OK and the first thing we want to try is try and add ice to your images manually using this blending thing blending mode that we got. So let's say we want to add ice to the walls here. So I'm just going to go on the burn tool. So you just go on the burn tool, which is over here underneath the dodge and the sponge. And just make sure you have a soft brush, range on midtones, and exposure on around 50%. And just brush on any areas that you want ice on so say I want ice on these walls so I'm just gonna brush on top don't worry if you have to click a few times like I'm doing now so if we went on, if we were on ice on the buildings we'll just burn that as well let's say we want ice on the trees so we'll just burn that now you have an idea so let's move on now what happens if you want to remove ice from the image so so you'll just do the exact opposite of the burn tool which is the dodge tool and just leave that on midtones around 50% exposure and just paint any areas that you don't want ice on so if you don't want ice on any of the trees or anything you just brush on top of it and you'll get rid of the ice say I don't want ice on the car 
just get rid of it. As simple as that. Now, let's say you want this. Now, this effect is looking a bit. But one of the downsides to this effect is it creates one of these nasty artifacts. Like, if you see the edges of the trees, it's not it's looking a bit too contrasty, too black. So, what you need to do is just get a control A and go copy merged, edit copy merged, and paste. You'll get a you'll get a duplicate of your current image. So then you go to filter and blur and Gaussian blur, and we'll put it on around 2.5. It depends on the dimensions of your image, but I'll put mine on 2.5, which is good. So now we have a blurred out thing. You can imagine what we what we're gonna do next. So we'll just change that to lighten light and blending mode and it will actually smooth out the edges around the eyes so that counters the problem a little if you want to counter it more I suggest you put more blood layers on top and adjust and adjust it just for blur options so put it on like maybe f 3 or 2 or stuff like that. Just play around with the blur if you want to count this problem totally. Now what we need to do is add a l levels adjustment layer because the contrasts the contrasts are rather dull right now so we'll add a new levels adjustment layer to, to the mix and we'll just tighten up these handles so that the histogram is more tight it's more squished up so it looks good. And if you want, if you want an Ice Age looking effect or that effect from the Day After Tomorrow movie, what you need to do is make a gradient map. So let's go layer, adjustment layer, new adjustment layer, and gradient map. Click OK. Now we want a dark blue to a white gradient map. So just do that. Add a new new color here. Move it to the right a bit. And yeah, that's the midtones for our for our gradient map. So make sure it's that you like the that you like the effect. Move this midtones to the right a bit so that the ice effect is more dramatic. Click OK. And now this looks OK, but it's actually it's usually too monotone if you want it to keep it more realistic. So we'll just turn that down to around 70, 66% opacity for the gradient map. And we'll need to desaturate the the greens of the trees and the sky if we wanted to make it more realistic so we'll just add a new adjustment layer and go on to hue saturation and we'll move the saturation down a little and make sure the hue saturation is below the gradient map so that it doesn't mess with the blues of the gradient map say so if you put it on top it'll desaturate the blues as well so just leave it on below the gradient map. But to conclude, we have a nice foundation for an Ice Age artwork in a very short amount of time. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This is Sixty from www.anavara signing out. See you guys. Peace.